What's going on, Jabronis? How you folks doing today? Welcome back into the Trailer Park Farm out on Susquehanna River Valley. Guys, we're busy working away. We're taking over the peninsula out here on the Trailer Park Farm. I got plans. I've got big plans for, well, future expansions. Some expanding, some biggering going on down here. But to do that, we're going to need some cash. We're, 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 a little, we're running low on cash. We're low, running low on funds. I got a plan, though. I, I've always got a plan, guys. Don't you worry about it. We've got a plan. We're going to take care of that today. We're going to see if we can maybe update. Well, we've got a John Deere harvester. I want to upgrade. It's causing me some issues. It's time to it's time to update. It's time to update. Everything else is looking good. The 4955 running like a champ still, of course. we got the white still doing its thing. Ooh, still got some, some wage increases there. Ugh, that's not good. But we're going to run this uh, limer for a bit. We're going to lime the rest of these fields up. And then maybe we'll see if we get some planting potentially today. But the big thing, guys, we're getting a new combine. New combine day. Let's do this thing. Pit or batter. So we are running low on funds right at the very moment. We paid back some of our loan, mind you. So that makes a little bit of sense. But I'm, I'm running low on supplies as well. I'm running low on the liming. The lime side. We got no lime left in the, in the, in the silo. Uh, we've got some seed. We're good with seed. We're running low on fertilizer. Oh, man. There's always something, it seems like, right? In fact, I don't even think I'm going to have enough lime to get through these fields down here. I've got two smaller fields to take care of. I don't think we're going to have enough lime to get through them both. It's looking... It's looking pretty bad right now. Um, literally, I am completely out in the silo. Whatever we got right now in here, that's what we get. So, guys, I'm going to run this, this dry. And whatever we get to is that where we're going to get to for now. And well, once that happens, I'm going to enact plan trailer park farm money making huge scheme. That doesn't sound like a thing. Does it's, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing. Don't worry about it. We got this. See you guys in a bit. Well, look at that. We actually got through this field. Barely. Um, you know what? We'll run it. Like I said, I'm, I'll run it dry. But I, I was surprised. I thought for sure we wouldn't get through the whole thing. Just whatever beggars can't be choosers this is great uh this is perfect let's run this up we'll go into here and we'll just finish off this here little field and take care of the rest of this but huh i'm impressed guys that ain't bad all right guys there she is the 9860 sts giving me a little bit of grief it, you know what it's not a bad combine is it's just a little bit older i kind of want to upgrade to something with a bit more horsepower we're running running a little bit of, I have a bit of an issue with the horsepower problem uh we've got some new fields we've taken over some fields with some hills on them and she is well giving me grief to say the least so we need to upgrade this is what i'm hoping to do today but you can see we got a bit of a financial issue there so let's go see if we can take care of that first i've got a bunch of crops the big one of course sugar beets we've got a ton of sugar beets currently over at well it's it's at the factory right now they're, they're producing they're taking the sugar out of the sugar beets so i might have enough to make a big sale of sugar that's what i'm hoping for as well I've got poppies over in these bins. Let's start off with selling some poppies. All right, guys. So I do have a, still quite a few, maybe 400,000 liters of sugar beets. We could take up up and throw that into the sugar mill. But uh, for now, it's still there's still lots up there. So I'm not too concerned with that. I think we'll hook up to this and then maybe go and just get poppies for now. I want to get rid of the poppies. Get rid of the poppies. You know, to be honest, there's some other, other poppies out on some fields that are going to be coming due right away. I want to sell them before anyone else has a chance. All right, I'm sure this is going to be quite a load once again, though. Uh, 200,000, probably 210,000 liters of poppies we're going to get out of this. Uh, actually, I just checked. 173,000 liters we've got in the silo. That's what we got. So that's going to fill up the majority of both these bins. We've got 105,000 per trailer. So that's going to be a good pull. It's going to be... We got to... And we got to climb the hill. We got to climb the hill to go sell this off as well, so... Yeah, it'll be fine. The, the max got enough power. It's just going to be a bit of a slow go up that hill. That's all. The, the poppies themselves, they sell for a decent price. Uh, they're not great. Their prices are dropping right now. So I want to get, make sure I get rid of these. But we're probably looking, you know, five to six hundred bucks per, per thousand. So definitely a decent rate by comparison of a lot of the other crops out there. But uh, I do need to get rid of these because prices are dropping, like I said. And I know there's a couple other guys out here. A couple other farmers that are they're currently getting ready to take their, their poppies off. I ended up getting mine off first. All right, guys, hammer down. We got hammer down here at 43 miles an hour. We've got a bit of a climb to go. It's a lot of weight. Um, the other thing I notice when we're we're pulling with this, the weight tends to come off the front tires a little bit and makes it a lot tougher to steer. Like, I, I really have to crank on her to get any kind of steering to happen here. It's it's a bit of a fight, but here comes the hill climb. You know what? We'll be fine. It's yeah, We'll hold 40 miles an hour at least up here. 
is just if we run into any traffic, which it looks like it's pretty quiet out here in the county right now. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got this. Come on, baby, climb that hill. Get up over the bridge. The bridge is pretty much the summit right here. Once we hit the summit, we should be good. And then uh, just straight across. Just straight up and across, well, across the main highway and into the city. Easy, easy. I find it's a little tight up in here. Oh, there we go. Nice, perfect. Looks good, looks good. All right, guys, we go past. Oh, okay, Casey, a special brown distilleries right there as well. <gasps> and look at this. This is what I was talking about. So I was talking to the dealer ahead of us. See, we got some sale signs up ahead of us here. He was saying that, well, everything's on sale right now. Uh, he's going to give me a special price on this stuff, which is good. I've got to love when equipment goes on sale. It's perfect time for me to buy. Perfect time. You know what? We need some deals right now because the money... She's she's a little toy. All right. Central Grains. Let's dump it in. Right about there. This is good. should be decent cash. I'm hoping, guys. Come on, baby. Big money, big money. Get us over this. We need, we need some money. So I'm going to have to go buy lime. So this is part of plan B is to go pick up some lime as well. Which is more trucking. You know what? I've got I've got quite a few hours on this truck already. And all we're doing basically is driving. Everything. Everything has to be trucked around out here on Susquehanna River Valley, guys. It never seems to end. It's a good thing. You know what? The Mack Pinnacle is a decent rig for this. Um, I would love to get something a little bit bigger. But you know what? For the time being, this is doing everything that I ever could ask. So we're up to 65 grand. 61 grand for profits. The smaller trailer. Can we get over 100k with this? Another 40k. Yeah, over 100 grand. Perfect. Let's uh, let's move along here. Okay. Plan plan A, part A of. I don't know. Just the first part. First part's done. Let me show you the second part of making some serious money on Susquehanna River Valley. This is gonna be good. I I promise you guys, you're gonna like this part. So like I said, the beets. We got almost a million liters of beets we've been throwing through here and they've been slowly processing them into sugar so we'll we'll see what we got here we'll see if we can fill up this truck these trailers with sugar because this is a lot of sugar perfect guys it looks like we got 200,000 liters of sugar we're gonna be able to take with us sell this off down into uh, the other town is the best prices right now around the market we got a bit of a truck to, trucking to do here we gotta go drive to the county to go sell off this sugar but we got 200,000 liters of it they're gonna take that's gonna be a good profit for us I, you know what? This is going to be good. This is good. This is good. Everything's coming together. Everything's coming up clock. Oh, one trailer full. Let's move that on up. Trailer two. Getting a fill up. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to be trucking, guys. Grab a coffee. Let's hit the road. Look at that. We like the perfect. We have 98% full. We actually have a little bit extra space in here. I could have taken a little bit more, but that's all they had produced so far. There's still about 150,000 liters of sugar beets sitting in there. So, um... Yeah, I've still got 400,000 down below at the farm. This is not going to be the one and only trip. We've still got a lot of trips to make of this. This is going to be, this is going to happen a lot more often. So let's head there to uh, across the county to the, we got another town. It's about yeah, a little distance away and uh, we'll sell off there. I think the soda companies where we're going to guys would really like to catch a football game one of these days. But you know what? We've got, we've got too much work to do still before we can start relaxing here. Oh man, this load, I'm telling you, like. <laughs> so when I'm on the accelerator, those front tires are just not grabbing. Like, you can see how far I, I'm turning before it catches. And then all of a sudden, the front end just takes off on me. It's it's like I have to let off the accelerator and then maybe steer. It's sketchy right now. Um, I got to make sure I'm on top of this. You know what? Best driver in farm sim. But man, we got we to gotta take care of this. We go down through the Death Valley in here. Right through the valley and down to... Oh, man. Down to the town. Oh, man, I hope this sugar's worth it, because this drive is sketchy. Easy, easy, easy. Through the valley. Th through the valley, oh, man. Oh, boy. I think we caught a guardrail. Don't, don't, it's all good. It's all good. We're good. We, get, we saved it. Saved it. Saved it. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got through the valley. There we go. Back down on the flats now. Still a little bit of a trek, but you know what? We're down in the flatlands. Through the valley now, and yeah, just a quick jaunt over to the town. And uh, we'll sell this stuff off. Fingers crossed we make some good cash. All right, here's the problem. This is where we got to go. Adirondack Soda. Uh, this is a tight little ent entrance here with these trailers. We're going to go all the way in as far as we can. Crank this over. Nice and easy. Nice, nice and easy. This should be clear. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. Bring this back. And now we should be good. Let's pull this on in. You got to make sure you, you take that nice and slow. Otherwise, well, you guys can guess, right? But that's driving farm, so we got no problems with that. Let's pull this on up. 
Let's see what we're gonna get here, guys. This should be this should be good. This should be oh man. I can almost taste this right now. I can't wait. Big money. Big money. There we go. Oh yes. Alright, so fingers crossed we should be around 200 grand for this. A little less, but pretty darn close to 200 grand in total after all said and done. What we should be getting out of this. Oh, I can't. I, I don't even know where to start with this. So harvester is number one now. Harvester, maybe another piece of land. We'll see. I got some options now. At least we're we're not broke anymore. Now that being said, I have um, I've got like four hundred thousand in loans. I still need to pay off. Ah, they can who, who, they can wait. They can wait. They can wait. Not bad, folks. Three hundred thirteen grand now sitting in the account. Oh, see, this is the fight now. Do we do we pay off the loan first? That uh, doesn't really sound like something I would do. It really doesn't. Um, first of all, we need lime. So, well, we've got to head back up the hill anyways. Uh, we'll have to go grab that. That's that's kind of a necessity. That's going to be a couple grand. I'm probably only going to fill one trailer with lime. All right, pulling back into to Fox Farms. More trucking. That's all we end up doing. We're going to get a load of lime and take that back to the farm. One trailer full of lime. That uh, should do. In fact, we can only store about 100,000 liters on the farm. So I don't want more than that anyways. That'll be enough. You know what, guys? I'm going to get some fuel while we're out here as well. I'm running a little low, and rather than filling up on the farm, I'll just grab some from here. Oh, yeah, that, that, that fits perfect. Uh, Subway? Anybody's, you guys want a sub? I'll, I'll grab you a sub. What do you want? Pizza? BLT? Roasted chicken? What do you guys want? I'll go pick one up. I got I got you. I got you. So the 9860, she's got to go. Unfortunately, I don't have a trailer to haul this thing up. I'm going to go see if Bubba. I think Bubba's got uh, some time. I mean, it's closing time. It's 7 o'clock. He's hanging out inside here. Let's go chat. Let's go have a chat. Hey, Bubba, what are you, what are you doing right now? Do, do you got a couple of minutes I can steal you for a bit? Oh, yeah, I got a couple of minutes, you know, just shutting things down. You sure you, you don't mind? I, I I just need someone to, to to follow me or drive in front of me up to uh, up to the city. Um, do you got like a truck or uh, you, you uh, that's your Chev out front, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's my Chev. I got um, I got hazard lights on it and the um, strobe lights, so. I'm safe. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool. I just need to take. Uh, I need to take my my harvester up. I've got a brand new case harvester coming right now, and uh, we're we're swapping out. John Deere for case. I don't. I don't know. Well, I see you got a case hat on. I didn't know you were a case fan down here. Oh yeah, case all the way. You know. I mean, if it's red, take it out of the shed. If it's green, throw it in. Throw it in a bush. I don't. I don't think that's the saying. But um, all right. Sounds good. All right, Bubba. Uh, if you just want to, yeah, if you just want to drive in front of me, put those, put your beacons on. Just give me a bit of a someone, to, a bit of a pilot car. I don't know. I don't know if what you got for that, but if you can do something to just get traffic out of my way, that'd be great. Um, I, we just gotta go up to the shop up, up in the city there. That's all. Oh yeah, sure, no problem. I'm, I'm not the best driver, but you know, I can <laughs> I can keep it between the lines. All right, sounds good. Bubba, is this your is this your ride? Oh yeah, 2010 what? GMC. Is this? Did you like put a custom matte black paint job on this thing? This thing looks, this looks like a, a bit of a sleeper. This thing's cool. Oh yeah, it, it's it's rattle can custom. I mean, you know, <laughs> rattle can nice. Um, oh, you got some you got some hazards or some uh, beacons up on the on the brush bar up here. I really like this brush bar. That thing uh, you can hit a few deer with that thing and still keep on trucking. All right, Bob, if you just want to lead the way, make sure you don't go too quick. I, I think I can only handle about twenty miles an hour on that thing, as you're probably aware. Um, and we'll go pick up the case up at the shop. I've already spent my wad on that. I think I lost 300 grand already. So hopefully I can get some cash back on that John Deere. Um, you don't want a John Deere, do you? Uh, not, not really. I mean, unless there's a de demolition derby going on, I don't know about, but. <laughs> Are you sure? Come on. Look, it's a 9860 STS. That's a great combine. It's a little older, but you sure you don't want that? It looks like you got things moving and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be off. Well, that's, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm kind of getting rid of it. The battery keeps on powering stuff up even when we're just sitting here and it's causing me some grief. I mean, no, 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 there's nothing wrong. There's no oil leaks or anything. This is in brand new condition. Um, I'll, I'll make a steal of a trade for you. Come on, you sure you don't want to buy this thing? Uh, no, it's going to be a hard, it'll be a hard no for me there, boss. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Well, if you just want to uh, give me a pilot up on the top there, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, sure. She's got a lot of power, so I'll try to, my best to keep her at a lower speed. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, man, look at those beacons. Those look great. Love it. All right, let's see. Hopefully, I don't... I can keep up with them. I don't know. We'll see. John Deere's a bit of a... She's a little slow sometimes, I find. If I can 20 miles an hour, I'm going to be lucky. Oh, uh, but we're going to be taking up the whole road. All right, there it is. A 7150 we just picked up. They've got the transport tires all ready to go on it. Um... Bubba, what do you think? Is this is this going to be a decent upgrade for me? The seventy one fifty from this this older uh, STS series John Deere. What do you think? 
Oh, I think this is going to be an enormous upgrade for you. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I, I mean, we're running a little low on the horsepower side. The one thing, the 9860 had that big tank with uh, the big top on it. I'm going to miss that because that's almost like 20,000 liters up there. I think this is around 16,000 or something. I don't know. I, don't, I think there's enough help out in the, out the fields out here. Uh, I'm sure you'll help me, right, Bubba? We, if we run into any issues at the field, you can help me with some grain carton. You're good with that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's green, so it's compensating for something with that big topper up there, you know? That must be it. It must be it. Uh, I'm going to jump up and take a look inside this one. I, you know what? We just ordered it because this is what was on sale. I got to see. I haven't even looked inside of it yet. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. That's cool. Um... All right, well, um, are you good to uh, to follow me back down to the farm again? Oh, yeah, I mean, I got to head back before Susie sets that place on fire, so. Su who's Susie? Oh, uh, she's, you know, she's somebody. It's just somebody. Oh, it sounds like there's a story behind that. All right, we'll see how fast we can get going with these uh, these transport tires. Sweet, thanks, Bubba. Thanks for uh, giving me a hand with this. Hey, um, I've got these, uh, these transport tires on the brand new case. Are you able to uh, maybe swap those out with some... Maybe some Michelins tomorrow? You got a chance? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. I mean, you know, duels, wides, tracks, you name it. <laughs> I don't think we can get tracks on there, but uh, I think just the standard wides will be fine. And, and my usual discount, right? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, well, it's a case, so yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's all it takes, I'll buy all case. Um, you should start. Maybe you should open a dealership down here. That might be beneficial for me. <laughs> Cool. All right, man. Well, I got some more work to go do to uh, finish off some fields here today, but thanks for the help today. I'm going to run out and uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow when this is things done. Oh, yeah, sure. Anytime. You know where I am. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to Fluff for helping me out with uh, well, hanging out with Bubba here. Cheers to him. Anyways, folks, thanks again. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. This is Clutch from Susquehanna River Valley. Over and out. Mm -hmm.